All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, here is Lori Morvan. Haven't promoted this in a long time. It's really cool. She's out on tour right now. This is her album Gravity, came out a few years back. Uh, she is a bona fide guitar slinger. She's got a real light and funky guitar tone that I think you'll really appreciate. And uh, again, if you want a really just smooth, I'll call it a smooth blues rock album to listen to, um, Gravity, 12 songs, they're all really good. And she's out on tour, lorimorvin.com. Another website you might want to check out is Modern Retro Radio, modernretrofm.com. They are playing the new stuff by older artists that, uh, you know, the iHeart Radio Industrial Complex, they won't touch it with a 10-foot pole. They'll tell you about it, but they won't play it, which is really bizarre. Um, you know what else is bizarre? Kid Rock was trending on Saturday. Why was Kid Rock in the news? <laughs> oh, man, he was on Twitter, at least trending on Twitter. And the reason he was trending is that Donald Trump, and people know this, I'm sure, unless uh, they've been hiding under a rock somewhere, or not hiding, but just living, um, Donald Trump was indicted on Friday for like, I don't know how many counts, like 30-something counts, espionage, all this stuff, um, mishandling classified documents. I mean, arguments with people who I should be friends with at this point because of all this, because I think, I think Trump is in deep doo-doo, okay? I just think this is a bridge too far. I mean, the attorney general that he hired, Bill Barr, whatever his name is, I think it's Bill Barr, um, was out there saying, this is crazy, this is nuts, you know? And everybody, of course, is a deep state operative. And I'm not saying the deep state isn't real. But at this point, folks, I'm tired of the entertainment and I want action. I want somebody who is focused on the problems and you can't be focused on the problems if you're constantly under investigation. And this one, to me, this isn't like Stormy Daniels and all this stuff. This is a real problem for Donald Trump. And I know his followers are just like, no, you're wrong. He can just declassify anything he wants to. You know, he can do like this thing, you know, Barbara Eden used to do on I Dream of Janie, where she used to blink and stuff would disappear. Uh, and in this case, Trump can just blink, think about it, blink, and certain documents are declassified. Well, apparently he had documents that could not be declassified. And everybody is ignoring this, who is enamored with this man, who at this point, honestly, he's bringing everything down. Is he going to win a general election if he survives this? How is he going to win? And by the way, if everything is, you know, still screwed up from 2020, why is everybody so worried about who wins in 2024? Yeah, just it's a, it's a fair question to ask. I'm just wondering because I get all this, well, you know, he's the only one that can do X, Y, and Z. Well, why didn't he do it the first time? He was pretty good for like three years. Uh, I, he lost me during the thing demic. He lost me. The people he should have fired, he kept there. And I haven't, look, I, I, this argument, well, at least you have your freedom. Really? Lockdowns are freedom? <sighs> yeah, in some cases, maybe you didn't have to go to CVS to save your job, but I, I know people who were fired from their job because they refused to do the thing. And that was all because of Operation Warp Speed, baby. Greatest thing ever. So Kid Rock is trending on Twitter. Why is Kid Rock trending? It was actually not funny, but it's interesting. Uh, this article, by the way, has a picture of both Kid Rock and Jeff Skunk Baxter uh, with former President Trump. 
So I find that kind of interesting. Uh, Jeff Skunk Baxter, he knows where all the nuclear codes are and stuff. He's <laughs> He is a big wig when it comes to all of um, the stuff that goes on in the intelligence world, which is crazy to think a guy who was playing guitar for the Doobie Brothers and for Steely Dan, but hey, to play guitar for Steely Dan, you've got to be pretty sharp. And the skunk, he's one of the best. He's not rated that way, but he is one of the better players out there. Um, so Twitter users began to spread the video, uh, which was of Tucker Carlson talking to Kid Rock about how Donald Trump showed him maps and asked his opinion on how to deal with North Korea. <laughs> so this is what um, Kid Rock said to Tucker Carlson. He says here, we're looking at maps and stuff, and I'm like, am I supposed to be in on this? He tells Tucker as they both begin to laugh. Now, at that moment, I'm sure, you know, they weren't thinking in terms of, is this serious? And all the people out there who defend Trump will be like, oh, this is, this is just goofiness. He was just asking his opinion. There's nothing, he didn't actually want a serious answer. No, I've heard that Trump does this all the time. He likes to ask uh, people who are from different walks of life and different backgrounds, what do you think I should do with Kim Jong-un? Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I write, he, Kid Rock says here, I make dirty records sometimes. What do you think we should do about North Korea? He marvels before bursting into more laughter. What? I don't think I'm qualified to answer this. So, okay, Kid Rock shows, by the way, if you think Kid Rock is stupid, there you go. He's not stupid. He's actually doing and saying the right thing. He's saying, I don't know if I'm qualified for this. Um, maybe ask somebody else who knows about you know, geopolitics or something. Why are you asking me this? Twitter users began to spread the video widely on Saturday in reaction to Trump's indictment, which includes 37 felony counts related to improper handling, storing, transportation, and sharing of classified government documents. The indictment became public on Friday and accuses Trump of breaking seven different laws multiple times, including 31 separate counts of violating the Espionage Act. Photos from Trump's various properties include a picture of boxes and boxes of classified documents piled high in Trump's bathroom at Mar-a-Lago. People wonder why uh, I'm not a big fan of Donald Trump. I used to be at the beginning, I, and, and there are a lot of people I know who said, yeah, I liked what he was doing for a few years. Um, but after 2020, and actually during 2020, and after that, this has just been, I don't know, th th this is a train wreck. And I wish he would just retire and chase golf balls and enjoy his life and, you know, hopefully stay out of jail, right? I think that would be a goal here. And all I know is that, yeah, other people have done bad things and they should be prosecuted too. They should be, you know, brought to justice, whether that's Hillary Clinton with her server in her bathroom, right? That's what happened. Of course, I think she used bleach bit or something and got rid of it all. And then you got Biden. He's got stuff in his garage. And, um, you know, if they are going to go after Trump, obviously they need to go after Biden for the same thing. And he probably did even worse than what Trump did. Who knows? Um, the, you know, everybody's saying, well, Trump could declassify what he wanted to. Biden was vice president and he can't do that. That's that's true. I don't know if you can declassify certain documents, though. And that's the point. I heard a couple of very smart people, uh, one of which whom I trust a lot, and that's a uh, former Fox News commentator, Judge Napolitano, who is a real libertarian. And I like real libertarians because um, they say uncomfortable things to people on the left and the right because they're following the Constitution. And so 
I don't know, folks. I don't know if uh, Kid Rock should be in on uh, if we should nuke North Korea or not, or how to deal with, uh, you know, geopolitics in general. And at least Kid Rock had the common sense to say, yeah, that's probably not in my uh, area of expertise. Uh, you know, I shoot beer cans and then I, uh, I make songs that are inappropriate for uh, kids to listen to at times. At other times, Kid Rock has made some pretty good music, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of a fan. I'm not a huge fan. Most of what he records is stuff I don't listen to, so I'm just going to be blunt there. I would prefer to listen to something like this, okay? Lori Morvan and her album Gravity. Check it out. Um, yes, you can buy a physical copy over at her website. It is lorimorvin.com. Easy to remember. And also don't forget about Modern Retro Radio. Modernretrofm.com. Look, um, all of this is bad for the country. It, it is. All of this stuff that's happening is really bad for the country. Um, and who knows what's going to happen in 2024. Um, I live in a great state. I live in the state of Florida. I have the world's best governor, so I'm happy. I'm happy. And I know he's running for president too. And who knows what's going to happen. I'd be okay if he wanted to stay here and just hang out and do stuff. Because life here is pretty good. And I know this because everybody is moving here. And they're building houses like I've never seen before. So that's just my perspective on it. Thanks for being here, everybody. Don't forget about... Um, Patreon, okay? I'm going to put a link to Patreon in the description of the video. Um, also, Modern Retro Radio and YouTube memberships. Uh, things have kind of leveled off thanks to all the patrons. So if you want to help the channel, uh, my patrons are saving me right now. So thank you for doing what you're doing over there, contributing. And uh, I will see you soon.